Texas 4-H Congress is a four-day mock legislative process where we have youth who write bills. Um, they submit those into our process to be included in our bill book, but then we have youth who portray different roles, such as House members, senators, um, press corps lobbyists. For every leadership position that you would see uh, while Congress is actually in session, we try to replicate them. So each participant in our event is required to submit one bill, however, youth who are not attending the event are also welcome to submit bills for this process. Those bills would um, pertain to issues that are reflective of what young people are interested in today. Texas 4-H Congress is held in Austin in July. Uh, we will be at the Capitol. We will actually be able to utilize the House and Senate chambers as well as do some of our other activities at the Sheridan Hotel in downtown Austin. And we are excited about using the Capitol because we are one of the few groups that, that do get to use that. Texas 4-H Congress is open to senior 4-H members, but we also encourage those youth who are transitioning into ninth grade to uh, apply to be a part of the process as well. Megan, is there an opportunity for the bills to go any further than just to the Texas 4-H governor? Actually, yes, there is. Any of the bills that are passed by the Texas 4-H Congress governor are actually laid on the desk of our real Texas governor so that he can view what has happened at the event and what policies are important to our youth. I can think of one specific bill just recently that has actually become law because of the process that it went through as part of Texas Forge Congress. We've had a lot of people ask us how to start writing a bill and there are some processes on our 4-H Congress page on the Texas 4-H website that talk about the steps to go through, what to include in your bill, as well as there are some old bill books so you can refer to some of the old bills to get an idea on what to write. Put your thoughts into it and, and really take a part in, in showing us what you think is important. This is a learning experience for everybody. So in order to participate, you don't have to understand the process completely. We hope to, as part of our training before the event actually gets started to go through some of that uh, learning educational process so that every 4-H member participating understands how the process works, understands how they participate in that process and uh, gets a feel for what they actually need to do in order to get their bill to the governor's desk. So besides the actual mock legislative side of, side of it, we do have dances, of course. I mean, we, we know our 4-H'ers love dances, but we do have theme nights as well, and then we include some keynote and cap note speakers. Part of this year's event that we're excited to have is our theme night is actually geared towards 007, James Bond, um, but we're gonna have one of our keynote speakers come that night, and I'm super excited to hear him again. Jim Olson, who was a former CIA agent, is gonna be present with us and share some of his stories from when he was in the CIA. You won't wanna miss it. Okay, 4-H'ers, if you are interested in participating, go through the process with your county office first. They will submit to the district office, and that is how delegations are, are put together. We would encourage you not to wait to the last minute. You know what you're interested in. You know what things that you would like to see different in Texas government. Uh, so let's start now and get that going and go ahead and, and put the bill together so that you are ready to register when the registration comes out. Registration will open on April 1st on 4-H online and there will be an image that has Texas 4-H Congress on it and then the link to the actual registration.